Hidden deep within the dense, humid jungles and winding rivers of South America lives one of the most powerful predators on the planet. It moves without sound, strikes without warning, and vanishes into the water before its prey even has time to scream. While the reticulated python may win in terms of length, no snake comes close to the green anaconda when it comes to sheer weight and bulk. Adult females, who are much larger than males, can grow to lengths of 30 feet or more, weigh up to 550 pounds, and have bodies over a foot thick. They are true muscular machines built entirely for ambush, strength, and survival. This is the green anaconda, nature's silent giant. Unlike many snakes that prefer dry land, the anaconda is a semi-aquatic predator, perfectly adapted to life in the water. Its eyes and nostrils sit high on its head, allowing it to breathe and see while almost completely submerged. Imagine drifting down a quiet river at dawn, the fog still rising from the water, when suddenly, you see it. A pair of eyes just above the surface, motionless, watching. Then the head rises, massive scale covered. An ancient followed by a thick emerald body that disappears into the depths. It's a breathtaking mix of awe, fear, and respect for a creature that has remained unchanged for millions of years. It needs large bodies of clean, undisturbed water. It needs dense vegetation to hunt and hide. As human activity pushes further into the jungle, the world of the anaconda continues to shrink. Their camouflage is nearly perfect. Their patience is unmatched. And their silence makes them practically invisible. So they are the masters of their environment. A perfect balance of stealth and power, beauty and danger. The rest of its massive body hidden below the surface like a lurking shadow? They are not villains. They are not monsters. They are survivors. And they remind us of just how wild and mysterious the world still is. Don't wander near the water alone. And never, ever try to approach or touch a wild snake. If you're lucky enough to see one, count yourself among the few who have looked into the eyes of one of the jungle's most powerful hunters and lived to tell the tale. These animals deserve our respect, not our fear. During the mating season, which usually occurs during the rainy months, something remarkable happens. Multiple males will gather around a single large female, forming what scientists call a breeding ball. Some are killed simply because they are misunderstood. Others are captured and sold illegally for exotic pet trades, even though they are completely unsuitable as pets. Sometimes up to a dozen males wrap around her, competing for a chance to mate. The ball can last for weeks, with males jostling, pushing, and twisting in the water in a slow-motion struggle, known scientifically as Unex marinus. The green anaconda is the largest and heaviest snake species on Earth, after mating. She will carry her young for up to seven months before giving birth to live offspring. Not eggs, like most reptiles. She can have anywhere between 20 to 40 baby snakes, each about two feet long and fully capable of fending for themselves the moment they're born. The green anaconda makes its home in the murky waters of the Amazon and Orinoco River basins. It doesn't need to chase its prey. It simply waits, motionless, patient, silent. It feeds on a wide range of animals, including capybaras, caimans, wild pigs, deer, birds, and even jaguars in very rare cases. In some areas, ecotourism has even helped locals see the value in preserving these creatures. Tourists travel from around the world just for the chance to spot one in the wild, and that income supports both the people and the wildlife. Its jaws are held together by stretchy ligaments, allowing it to swallow animals much larger than its own head. The digestion process can take days or even weeks, during which the snake becomes sluggish, lying low until it's ready to hunt again. Then, with a lightning-fast strike, it grabs its victim wraps its powerful coils around the body, and squeezes with enough force to stop the heart and crush bones. In fact, in regions where people live near anaconda habitats, confirmed attacks are extremely rare. These snakes prefer to avoid confrontation unless they feel threatened. Most of the fear surrounding them comes from legends, exaggerated stories, and movies that portray them as bloodthirsty monsters. The prey never stands a chance. The green anaconda's diet is as fearsome as its size. But despite all this power, the green anaconda is not the mindless killer some people think it is. It doesn't hunt humans. 
Still, coming face to face with a green anaconda in the wild is something few ever forget. Their hunting abilities are only one part of their fascinating behavior. Female, being far larger, controls the outcome. Despite their size and strength, green anacondas face serious threats. Deforestation, habitat destruction, illegal hunting, and human fear all play a role. Ironically, the very traits that make the green anaconda such an impressive predator also make it vulnerable. That is why researchers and conservationists are working hard to protect these incredible snakes and the ecosystems they depend on. But make no mistake, spotting a green anaconda in the wild is not easy. To see one is to witness a creature that has outlived empires, survived ice ages, and adapted to some of the harshest, wettest, wildest places on Earth. Safety reminder. If you ever travel through the Amazon or any place where green anacondas are found, always go with a trained guide. The green anaconda is not just a snake. It is a symbol of untamed nature, a giant among predators, and a living relic of prehistoric times.